Hi, I'm Curtis Bode and welcome to the Scope of Science. Now, today we're asking, are mushrooms plants? No. But if we want to dig a little deeper into that question, we have to look at your family tree. And in fact, it's our family tree. Because you and your cousin are related, and so are you and I related, and so are you and every living thing on the planet related. And this is our family tree. It's the one we share with bacteria, plants, fungi, and the rest of the animal kingdom. What do I mean by fungi? Well, I mean mushrooms, but I also mean things like yeast that go into making bread and beer. And so if we look at this tree, we find, yeah, plants and fungi are different, but they're also very different. In fact, fungi are more closely related to animals than they are to plants. How do we know that? We can look at their DNA, the code that makes up what they are. We can also look at what makes them run. And in fact, they don't have chloroplasts, the things that do photosynthesis in plants. They also have a very different cellular structure. They have weird compartments in their cells, and plants don't have those. And fungi are also made of chitin, something that's common in insects, but not at all in plants. It's a chemical component that makes them up. If you think that you're probably really stupid for having, having thought that mushrooms are plants, you're not alone. Carl Linnaeus, who named over 10,000 different species, also thought that mushrooms were flowerless plants. So, We've only started to scratch the surface in the last 200 years since Linnaeus. We think there are 5.1 million different species of fungi, but we've hardly identified any of them yet. So there's still a lot of science to do. Now, I kind of treat this channel like a science experiment, so if you like or dislike this video, if you can press one of those buttons, that would give me results that would help in me improving this channel, so please do that. Uh, and consider subscribing if you did like this video, and thank you for watching.